The advantages of being a grown-up. <laughs> there are many advantages to being a grown-ass man with your own house and you pay your own bills and you do whatever you want to do. For example, today I decided that I wanted to shave, so I just shaved. It's like, let's, let's make no qualms about it. This is the look that I should go for. What is it, baby? I'm, I'm in the bathroom and I'm listening and I'm just like, oh, this is an interesting article he's reading. Because wow. you were just, I thought you were just reading really fluently. No, no. <laughs> I, I'm just a fluent speaker. You like, are listen. Speaker, unlike me. Every now and then I try to do something new and different with the facial hair. Let's be honest. This is what works for me. Yes, Let's just awesome. stay here. The bald head, the mustache, the goatee. That's it. That's mm. it. Mm. But that's not an advantage because you can shave anywhere. You can be 16 years old and decide you want to shave. Let's discuss the advantages. I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning with no drawers on. And I walk my happy ass into the next room. And I take a piss. And I be damned if anybody got anything to say about it. You know why? Because this is my motherfucking house. You know where this is going. So... Another advantage to being a grown ass person. I decide that I'm thirsty. So I walk my happy ass into the kitchen at any time of the night and I look in my refrigerator and I grab myself a water bottle. Why? Because I'm a responsible adult. These are the kinds of things that you can do when you are a responsible adult and you pay your own bills. You know what? I decided that I wanted to have Netflix on even when I'm not in the room. Here it is. It's just waiting for me. I decided it was more prudent for me to have my computer right here in the living room so that we could watch TV on the big screen. And you know what? There's nobody who can tell me I can't because it's my house. And I'm a grown-ass man. Another fun fact, I just got out the shower. Bought this real nice little speaker. Baby, will you open this for me? I got one hand going on. Oh, here's a grown-ass man. Get somebody else to do shit for you. Wait a minute. So, Your hands are full, huh? Oh, hush. Uh, stop it. <laughs> so I bought this little speaker. So I'm in here, and I'm just listening to the most ridiculous songs. Some of them got profanity in them. Some Whoa, of them don't. Wait a minute. But you what? know what? Music was up as loud as I wanted it to be because I'm a grown-ass man, and I'm at home. This is my house. I do what I want to do. You know what my bedtime is? Whenever my fat ass go to sleep. You know what time I wake up? Whenever my fat ass get up. Because I'm a grown man and I can do these things. All oh, this sounds really nice. Then yesterday, Asia got me. really mad at me. I ate like two dozen so cookies two yesterday. And a half dozen two and a half dozen cookies. You know what, it was though? like 30 oatmeal raisin cookies. You know what, what? You're a grown man, so. And you're a captain, so that means that you get to spin around in circles all day. Captain, you see that? Captain. Sit on the couch in your underpants, play a game, and eat cookies. That's right. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, that's right. If I just want to sit around in my underpants and eat cookies and, and play my game, I can do that. And spin around. And spin around. That's important. And sing. And sing. That's awesome. Now, understand that all of these things sound wonderful, don't they? And they are. Like, don't get me wrong. I would not trade my life for the world. Here are the disadvantages to being a grown-ass person. Uh-oh. My check every week. This is TMI. Let's put it out there. My check every week is roughly $470. That, that, that rounds up to $960 every two weeks. That's not a bad amount of money. You know what you know what I did on the first of this month when my check came in I gave eight hundred dollars to the landlord I had to pay the smud bill I had to make sure the phones were paid I had to make sure that the lights stayed on I had to make sure that the internet was working you know how much money I have right now there's a dollar ninety four in my bank account I think I've got like a dollar fifty in change in my room right now which I'm saving because we won't have any money until Friday, and I'm going to probably buy a loaf of bread so we can enjoy peanut butter sandwiches. Another downside to being a grown-ass person is I have to conform to a work schedule. I can't wake up tomorrow morning and go, 
Eh, you know, I don't feel like going to work. I'm just going to sit this one out. I could do that, but then I'd get fired. And if I get fired, I can't afford all these wonderful luxuries that we talked about much earlier before we started talking about disadvantages. <sighs> all I'm trying to say is that... Y when we were kids, we couldn't wait to get old. We couldn't wait to be adults because all we saw is that we could stay up as late as we wanted and watch cartoons and sit around in our underpants and play video games and eat cookies and spin around. You know, that sounds really cute when you're like 12 or 13. And then you, you hit adulthood and you realize that you can do all of these things. You can eat dessert first before you have dinner. But then it kind of hits you with, damn, now nah, I don't really want food. You know, and I just took it all these empty calories for no reason. Like, I could stay up as late as I want, but then I wouldn't be well rested to go to work tomorrow. So you don't really want to do that. It's like, maybe your parents were on to something. Maybe you should go to sleep at a decent time. You know, we're in such a rush to grow up. And then we spend the rest of our adult years wishing we could be children again. And that's sad. You know, but such is life. I mean, that's that's how we do it. That's that's just kind of how we are as people. I like to think that I have found a very nice balance between I'm a grown ass man and I handle my business, and I'm also a big goofy kid who know how to have fun with his family. We we can sit in here and for two hours watch comedy specials and hood nigga vines, but also we could turn on a religious debate or a political debate. Or my son and I can have a legitimate argument about Donald Trump. Or my wife and I can have serious conversations about helicopter zombies. Hey. Like, hey, hey. It's, helicopter zombies is a masterpiece. No, you guys are teasing We are not teasing you. Asia wrote a story called Helicopter Zombies, and it's outstanding. Like, I'm really enjoying the hell out of helicopter zombies. I really hope you continue that. Seriously. I found a balance. Between big ass kid and grown ass man. And I like it. I like it. You know, I I feel real good. This 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 is the look that I'm supposed to have. Mustache, goatee, bald head. This is me. This this is what we do. And while we know how to be goofy and have fun and be silly. And you watch the videos. You see us having a good time and being silly. We also know when to turn it on and get serious. And I'm really proud of us for that. I feel good tonight. I feel real good tonight. There's something about shaving my head that usually makes me feel really nice. But then, you know, I get lazy. Like, life catches up with me and I start getting run down and tired. And I'm like, eh, I'll get to it later. Eh, I'll do it tomorrow. And then you look up and I've got this kind of half row thing going on. It's like, well, now I got to break out the clippers. And then and now it's a big waste. Oh, well, now I got to do the clippers. I don't want to break out the clippers. I'll do it next week. And before you know it, I've got this whole buckwheat thing going on. And it's like, ah, it's ridiculous. So this is the look that I'm supposed to be going for. This this is where I should be. This, I this Yeah, now I need to tan. <laughs> you can't see it here, but it's like my head is just slightly lighter. It's, it's the funniest thing. I successfully found balance in my life. I think a lot of this is stemming from I was watching a couple of my older videos, specifically from August of 2016, which is where everything started happening. We were working at VF, then I wasn't working at VF. I got fired and Asia was only getting a few hours and then she started getting a whole bunch of hours. I spent my last $200 on a guard car. I started going on these interviews. Oh shit, I got the job that I wanted. And it's like, on oh, that whole thing, the longest seven minutes of my life, that's, that's still one of the funniest videos because I made it up in my head that no matter what happens, come what may, I accept that this is what's about to happen. And it worked out. And I got my dream job. And now here we are like six months later. Well, it's been more than that. No, about six months. Six months later, whole life just completely turned around. We owe no one anything. No one. My, my debts are at zero. Okay, my light bill might be at like $80 right now for the month. Because, you know, the month just started. But we, I have nothing outstanding. There's nothing going on. Bills are at zero because I'm a grown-ass man 
but I still found a way to be a big-ass kid doing it.